Can ferries operate on hydrogen energy sources in harsh marine environments? The UK's Orkney Islands are embarking on a scientific journey to develop hydrogen ferries for maritime transport inside the archipelago. David Hibbert of the Orkney Island Council Marine Services coordinates the initiative. He spoke to Euronews. Hydrogen is, uh, is uh, really the, the only clean fuel we're looking at for, for marine, for, um, for long distance use. Uh, we've got two hydrogen projects uh, running at the moment. The one involves a vessel behind us here, uh, it's a project called High Dime. That is uh, mixing hydrogen fuel with existing diesel fuel and to get a fairly immediate reduction in uh, carbon footprint and uh, other emissions. The second project, which will follow behind that, is one called High Seas 3. is a full-on hydrogen fuel cell vessel, 100% hydrogen, uh, completely clean, uh, which will follow this. And we're using this vessel as the, the forerunner to that project. The main challenges on hydrogen is reliability uh, at the moment. Well, we're looking at a number of because of the, the fact that there's not enough people uh, trained in the operation of hydrogen systems and supply chain. We is to get a, a system or a ferry operation reliable. You know, ferry operation runs that timetable. Every 15, 20 minutes we have a departure. Uh, any any problem with that is people delayed, so it becomes unacceptable. So the biggest challenge for us is to take the hydrogen fuel systems and make them reliable and safe and, uh, and also uh, acceptable to the public. 